Hey, what's up guys? It's LT Dren. Today I'm going to show you guys how to live stream your HD gameplay from your console on a site like Justin TV or Ustream using the Flash Media Encoder. So, unfortunately, I do not have a PC, so I don't know how to actually live stream on a PC, but on a Mac I do, so that's why I'm only going to show you guys on Mac today. So, I'm going to try to be as simple as I can and not to make it too complicated to too complicated to you guys because you have a lot of programs to use. It might sound, it might seem complicated at the beginning, and but it it's actually really simple. And like for example, for me now, it takes about one minute to start up live stream. So let's start right now. So basically, you of course need your program that use that that provides yeah uh, that provides the signal from your HDPVR. What I mean by that is the program that like you see. Your, your your Xbox or your PS3 with so that you need that of course and then basically the concept is really simple basically you need a program that will screen cap this entire thing so that program is called the cam twist so basically it's a program um, that you da download on the internet and you go you double click on desktop plus uncheck full screen you check on confine to application window please select ITV component input, select area, and now uh, it's gonna kind of do a square. Uh, I mean a black rectangle around the the window of your ITV program. You just want to bring that down just a bit so that you don't see the green part at the top. And guys, I'm really sorry. I will. I don't really have links to the programs because I've been using them for a long time, but you can easily find them on the internet. So sorry, guys, if I don't post any links. So here you're done selecting. I'm just gonna put it down. We're done with that for now. Now you need audio hijack. So you basically you need the sound of your ITV program and your other programs that you want to use. Either it can be your microphone, your ITV, or if you want to put music, you use the iTunes. So basically you have just have to hijack. If you want to hijack, you just press hijacking. Right now it's recording my voice. Look, I'm gonna stop talking, it's gonna stop. Basically, you want to hijack all the programs that you want to use. But when you use a program, you have to insert an effect. And wait, you got to make sure that your device, your output device, is Soundflower. For those who don't know what is Soundflower, it's a really, really simple program that kind of it's like a location where all your audio goes and that you can take all that audio and trans transmit it to another program. So it like regroups all your audio. So put it on Soundflower 16 channel. Of course, the two channel you can only use two things. So just in case you want to use micro your microphone, iTunes, and ITV, put it on 16 channel. And when you're done with that, just hijack the program. Sometimes it will. Um, you just press hijack, as I said. Sometimes it will ask you to relaunch the program. So it's probably gonna ask me to relaunch. Quit and relaunch my ITV program. And it's Audio Hijack Pro. Don't forget that. So. And then just gonna when it's gonna reboot, gonna redo this. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I always open it in this order because I never have problems. So let's just redo this. Bring it down just a bit. Now you can put this down. And guys, even if this is in front, it won't take it because we only said to Cam to us to take the component input window. After that, you want to open your Flash Media Encoder. Basically, what that does is that it takes all of those programs and just live streams it. You can easily find it on the Adobe um, website. It's called Flash Media Encoder. No thank you. But first off, before entering the program, you have to import your profile. So basically, how to get your profile, you go on the Justin TV website. Might take some time. Now you go on video game. I'm gonna stop syncing. You click on console. Come on, computer is lagging because I'm importing. Let's just refresh, see what goes. Sorry for this, guys. Okay, you have console, and here at the bottom, when you're gonna going to be on your account will give you a XML file so you will have to download the flash media live encoder directly from the Justin TV site you'll have to download it and it will also download a XML file okay 
So here's your X XML file. Um, with that file, it's going to be in your computer. You simply want to go in your Flash Media Encoder file, open profile, and then you choose your file. That's the, that's how your Flash Media Encoder will connect with your Justin TV account. So here I simply have to press connect. Now I'm connected to the Justin TV site, but I'm not yet streaming. To stream, you have to press start, but let's go over the settings. So of course you need Cam Twist. That is a must. I choose VP6, 30 frames per second, because that's how ITV records. Now the the bitrate and the input size is all about your internet connection. For your internet connection, you want to go on speedtest.net and just test your connection to see what's your upload speed. I have really, really, really crappy upload speed. Speed. I have a 0 0.57, so it really sucks. So I cannot live stream HD, which really sucks. So I, I just tried to find the best settings for me. So I strongly suggest you to use either 640 by 360 if you have a really bad connection, 720 by 480 if you have a okay connection and a pretty good connection, and then if you have an amazing connection go with uh, these ones at the bottom so it really depends of your of your internet connection so you want to check maintain aspect ratio now the bitrate it, it's exactly the same thing for example me I have a 0 0.71 0 0.71 megabit per second upload so that's a 720 a 710 kilobit per second upload so I don't want to use all of my internet or else it will not work you just want to um, choose a kilobit per second just a bit below from your upload speed if you have a, uh, I don't know uh, a 5 megabit per second which is 5 megabit per second which is 5000 you choose just the highest 2500 you are going to have a perfect H as your input size it's exactly th the same you do not want to check your crop do not check time code now let's go on the audio you want to choose your sound flower that you chose in audio hijack MP3 mono 44,100 hertz and the bitrate put it for 64 and put the volume at the middle not at the max never in the max now we're gonna start it and by the way guys just a quick tip for your bitrate if you think oh I'm gonna I'm gonna put it higher so that it takes the max upload do not do that you will have problems for example I have a seven seven hundred and ten kilobit per second upload and if I put it at 800 or 950 the delay with the reality and the live stream will increase so much. I don't know why, but for example, if I leave it at 950 for 10 minutes, the delay was probably at the beginning like 10, 5 10 seconds, and at the end it will be like 10 minutes. So watch the delay. Do not choose a, a kilobit per second over your upload speed. So I'm going to press start and go on the Justin.tv, my site. Doesn't always work. I hope it works. Okay, yeah, it works. Sometimes the Justin TV site uh, bugs. I personally prefer Justin TV because I've been using it for a long time. And I'm gonna mute this. Is it connected? You see, streaming to primary now. It's working. It's live streaming. This just has to load, and of course, it takes time to load since I'm also uploading at the same time while streaming. I think something went wrong. I think... Yeah, usually... Usually, like, it stays with... Usually it stays with the ITV program, but I don't know why it's not doing it right now, so... I have two, two monitors, so that's why I'm moving it from one to the other. But guys... I can't show you guys right now because my internet is not powerful enough to stream and good to go on the stream. So I'm just gonna try one last time. Yeah, usually you see here, you don't have this, you don't see my screen. Usually it just takes the program. I don't know why it's not working right now. So you see it's live loading. You see right now it's streaming. And um yeah, it's working perfectly. The only problem, I don't know why it's doing right now, but it's supposed to only capture this thing, but it's just not doing it. I don't know why. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, guys, but trust me, it's going to work. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you see there's a delay of like 5-10 seconds, so I hope you guys enjoyed.
please give this, this video a like if you enjoyed it, and have a great day.